Crystals are becoming increasingly popular. The claims made about them include that they can heal, improve memory, give off energy, and help you assert yourself. Well, let's find out, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our first guest, Britain's best-known crystal healer, Susie Holbich. Now, Susie, I understand that you believe crystals have considerable power. I right? do. Yes, you I do. do. And you've agreed tonight to demonstrate crystal power through what is known as applied kinesiology. That's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to assist with this demonstration, we have with us actress and journalist Fiona Richmond. <laughs> Tell me, Fiona, what about you? Do you believe in crystal power? Um, I don't really know very much about it, but I'm willing to have a go at anything that's going to help me. Very good. Well, first, Susie is going to demonstrate the power of crystals by testing Fiona's strength while she's holding the crystal. This is applied kinesiology. That's right, crystals. yes. You okay. can test it for allergies and all sorts of things, I muscle see. testing. Well, earlier today, Susie decided this particular crystal that you're holding there is good for Fiona, right? Now, could you demonstrate for us, uh, please, just how you decided that and uh, do the, the little test? Well, I went through crystals and the ones that I've got with me, and that seemed to be the right one. So first of all, I'd like to muscle test Fiona with her normal sort of strength. And to do this, I'll ask her to put her arm up, straight out. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to just test it. Okay. You can feel that. I mean, there's no... No, no it's just pushing going down. Normally. So just right. hold that in the other okay. hand. Okay, hold it tight. Just hold it. Okay. Let your body attune to it for a moment or two hard. <laughs> All right. And then put your arm up again. Okay. Straight. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, no, can you feel the difference? Absolutely, I mean, I can yes, feel it, but you can feel rigid. It's absolutely yes. rigid, whereas before it was absolutely limp. Extraordinary, yes. Yeah. There's a huge difference. Well, you're going to place this crystal inside this small right. red okay. bag. All right. Now, this crystal has been placed in the pouch, and I'll hold it by the string. And we've also here other samples, which are all going to be mixed up, also concealed in pouches, none of which could be described as good for anyone. That is the ones aside from the crystal. So using your method, Susie, can you now find, if I give them to Fiona one at a time, which is the good crystal? Well, we hope so. We'll test it on Fiona. All right. Take the first sample. I'll just take the first one. Oh, you're going to reach in and yeah. take one. Okay. I'm sorry. Any one at all there. All right. Hold it in your hand. Okay. And then put your arm out. Okay. I swear to you, this is totally spontaneous, because neither of us know and, what's in well, it. Well, you mustn't feel it to try to find out what's inside there, Fiona. You're just supposed to hold it lightly in your hand. Right. Is this good or bad, then? Bad. bad. It's this weak, bad. This one you yeah, say is bad, so we'll put it in the red section. Oh. Reach inside and take another one, if you would, please. <laughs> it's like a raffle. <laughs> it is indeed. Thank you. Bad, yep. You say that one's bad, then? All right, I'll take it only by okay. the string there. Thank you very much. We'll put that one aside in the bad area. And we've got three <laughs> left. Reach inside, bad. please. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> well, I think that one looked bad to me, wasn't bad. it? Bad. It certainly was. All yes. right. Very good. Anything no, 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 no. no. That, that, don't, don't you dare yeah. peek. You're trying yeah, to peek. I know. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got two left. Let's see how you do on this one. All right. That should be it. <laughs> that should be it? That All right, it. I'll take that one and I'll put that one over here in the good area oh. and we have one left. Oh. <laughs> and this shouldn't work. <laughs> I'll bet I know what this one shouldn't do. Let's find out. Okay. No, and indeed, that no, one seems yes. to be one That's of the it. bad ones, so. okay? Uh, Thank right. you very much. Now, I've placed all four bad ones on the red section here and the good one on the green section. Let's go. just see how you did, shall we? If chance alone were operating here, you'd have a one in five chance of finding the crystal. We have a strange substance in here. Well, uh, that's a, oh. ooh, a blue lump of something or other. Let's just find out what we have in these other bags, shall we? This one here, which I can hardly get out of the bag because it's sticking in there. That's another piece of it. Ladies and gentlemen, and Susie and Fiona, ah. what you chose as the crystal is actually rat poison. Ah. And uh, I'm not going to test it out on a rat or on anybody else in this audience, and I'm certainly not going to try it myself. And uh, by golly, I think we have yes. Here is the crystal, which a moment ago was represented as being bad for you. And of course, the last sample, as we might expect, 
rat, rat poison. Right. So. All I can say is that rat poison must be good for Fiona. Oh, God, I shall take some every day um, then. <laughs> and that before the crystal was sort of n naked, if you like, in your hand. It wasn't covered up. And I think that does have an effect. All right. Now, these are the results uh, of this experiment that you'd expect by chance, which would suggest either that applied kinesiology doesn't work or crystals don't have the powers claimed for them, or both. Fiona and Susie, thank you very much for coming and taking part tonight.